Julia, Frank, today the Lord has brought you to be together and to form a new family. You will make your marriage vows in front of God and of his people who are present here. Do you guys remember, thought that one day the Lord might call you to be husband and wife? Julia, perhaps you saw in Frank his kindness, his dedication, his love for God, and you were captivated by this. Frank, perhaps you saw in Julia the gift of peace and faith that she has, and you were also captivated by this. This has been in the plans for like two years. It's all Stephanie talks about. It's all we talk about, so it's finally here, and it's very surreal. Julia and Frank met through their mothers. Maureen and Stephanie fixed them up, they went on a first date, and obviously here we are, and they're getting married. Listen to your mothers, girls. <laughs> love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Since I can remember, Julia and I have been going to the salon for forever. I know I'm starting off talking about the salon, but that's really where this love story begins. From the time Julia was a little girl, she was the sweetest, most caring person I had ever met. Julia was always concerned about others and doing the right thing in life. She was always so thoughtful and concerning about other people, and I said, you know, that really makes you proud as a parent that your daughter is that wonderful of a kid. To my wife, uh, you're my whole world and my reason. I've never felt this level of connection that I have with you. I feel like we were deeply in love after one date, but since then, our love has just turned into so much more. You're the most beautiful person inside and out. An amazing personality that captures the room. I promise to always protect you, love you, and respect you until death do us part. God has truly blessed us to find each other, and I'm just so blessed that I get to marry my best friend. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you. Forever your husband, Frankie. <laughs> That's sweet. One thing about Julia that really, I think, that shaped her was that she went to Mount St. Joseph High School. My wife really pushed the issue, and one of the reasons she did that was because she wanted to do a lot of volunteering and a lot of service, and she did, and that stuck with her through her life, and I, I really always admired that about my daughter. <laughs> Finally. 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 No, finally, the day is here. Yeah, I thought you meant that too. You look like a Oh, oh. oh. Do not cry. Yeah, now I'm too emotional. I'm going to cry if I see everybody crying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you believe it? No. You can't wipe. I know. <laughs> you look beautiful, Julia. Thank you. You look absolutely Aww. beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We would always 
always hear about this Frankie, either Stephanie raving on and on about him or Marge on the couch, Frankie, Frankie. The Messiah, as we like to call him. And never in a million years did I think my sister would be marrying the Messiah, let alone an Italian. But here we are, and I'm so thankful. Frank blended into our family immediately and became our son, our brother to Jane, and the person that admires our daughter and puts her above everything else first. Frank has a great sense of humor. He's a good sport. I'm just really happy to say he's my son. But here's the deal. So I was adopted. How could I ever tell you that you changed my life just by being born? You were the first person that I ever met that was like me. Frankie, happy wedding day. Can you believe it's here? After 18 months of planning, it feels surreal to finally be marrying my best friend. I love you with all my heart, and I can't believe I've been so blessed in my life to have found you. I didn't believe in soulmates until I met you. Then after our first date, I knew that you were the one. And every day since then, it has only been reinforced that we are meant for each other. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter, and truly the greatest man I've been blessed to know. Frankie, I couldn't be any prouder to marry you today. I cannot wait for the rest of our lives together. I will see you at the altar. Love, Julia. Frank, who begin their married life together this day, may they experience the love of God, the support of family and friends, and the blessing of children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I was able to give you advice throughout the years. I think one that really kind of held true was that in the field that you're in, recognize how fleeting life is that you should cherish every moment. But I'm very proud of you. Proud of you now. Proud of you. I've, I've always been proud of you. Julia, Frank, thank you for allowing me to be part of this preparation on your wedding day. I was privileged to, to be with you during these months of preparation, so thank you for, for that. So when I first met you, I saw in you peace, faith, kindness, respect, and I saw that you love God. And because you love God, your love for each other is rooted in Him. There's a reason I call you like five times a day. I genuinely love talking to you. But it wasn't until recently that we really started liking each other. <laughs> You're my best friend and I can come to you about anything. Specifically when we're talking about mom and dad because you're the only person that understands their insanity. Today, I could barely, barely keep from crying pretty much the entire day. I just love you guys that much.
Frankie, I love you like my brother. What I love most about you is the way you treat my sister. You absolutely adore her. You can literally see it when you look at her in your eyes. And you always, always put her first. You love Julia unconditionally, and it means so much to my family. You're the only man that truly deserves to be by her side. With a sacrament of marriage, you will become one body in which both of you, with your talents and differences, will show God's image to your future children and will help each other to always give thanks to God. Today, you find a partner that's gonna walk with you through love and life together. Jules, I could not have asked for a better person for my son to bring home to me. You're brilliant, beautiful. Today you were captivating. You actually stopped me walking out of the elevator with one look. You're the only girl I've ever met that he brought home who melted my heart and made me fall in love with you. You're the only girl I've ever seen my grandchildren in her eyes. On this day of your marriage, you have chosen a reading that speaks about finding each other worthy and being thankful to God for what He gives you every day. You have chosen a second reading that speaks about having heartfelt compassion for each other, being kind and humble with each other, being gentle and patient with each other. All these can be said in one phrase, Love one another as the Lord loves you. This is a phenomenal day. Um, there's so many people here who love and support our children. I think it's phenomenal to have this support and it's, it's unreal. And I'd like to thank everybody for coming. God is the author of marriage. And he in communion with the Son and the Holy Spirit greatly desires to be with you in your new home and to bless you abundantly. So at your new place, the language of love must be spoken at all times. Frank, in a few minutes, you will promise to love Julia forever. Julia, you will also promise to love Frank forever. Both of you will promise to care for each other until death separates you. Both of you will exchange rings, expressing that covenant of loving each other forever. Julia, Frank, you are blessed that you met each other. Because of your love for each other, and because you have God's love that, at the center of your life, your loving actions and thoughts will be seen in having patience for each other and in treating each other with gentleness and respect. As I was walking Julia down the aisle, I wish I could have froze time and froze those minutes as we were walking down because it was just so special. And I thought I was going to lose it, <laughs> but I didn't. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen. We're standing in a place that was built together in 1862 to preserve the Union. 
It was to bring something together. It's fitting that we're sitting here bringing two families together, and I could not have asked for a better crazy bunch of individuals. We're never going to get a chance to celebrate like this again. Friends and family, older friends, newer friends, thank you for coming. Julia. Thank you, Julia. To be my lawful wife. To be my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I, Julia. Take you, Frank. Take you, Frank. For my lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. piece of advice is the most successful couples work together and that success is evident through their marriage, through the kids, through the profession. If you work together, everything works out. Always have open and honest communication and very often. Be careful who you let into your life. I always say that, Julie has probably heard me say it a thousand times. Make sure everybody you bring into your life is a positive person. So now I present to you Mrs. and Mr. Evans. special to me and I'm continuously proud of you. From getting into law school to getting a husband, I am so happy for you and the new chapters in your life to come. I love you guys both and I love seeing you shine together. I'm really looking forward to Frank and Julia's life together. I think it's going to be wonderful. I, I can't say enough. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for stars and change the world. I want you guys to look around and embrace the moments as we move along, okay? You're never gonna get a chance at another first kiss. Someday you'll smell your last flower, you'll eat your last meal, you'll kiss your last kiss, you'll enjoy your last embrace with a great friend or the innocent love of a child. You may not know it's your last time, but it might be. So do it every time with passion. Finding each other worthy and being thankful to God for what he gives you every day. Your hearts will be for God and he will help you to walk next to each other and with your future children to live together and to have a happy old age. You are now a team. This, this is a match that I believe was created with a purpose by the moms. With that being said, please raise your glasses in a toast to the passion and Frank and Julia.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, hot. A little swollen. A little hot. It, it ain't coming off either. Hey guys, Adam. <laughs> Going over my 50 years and what advice I could give you guys and trying to look for the wisdom of Solomon and the only thing that came to my mind was, why are there eight hot dogs and six buns? Oh my God, can you please play Lizzo? Lizzo's on, Lizzo's on. <laughs> I've seen 290 pounds of screaming Goliath stop on a dime. Frankie, boom. Right, that's when I knew I said, he's married. They're getting married. Last piece of advice I'm going to give you is get a dog because I'm keeping yours. <laughs> 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 